This week we're going to be talking about lower thirds, how to use lower thirds, how to switch between them, and how to get them off the screen when you don't need them. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our lower thirds. So I'm going to go to my laptop, I'm going to cut to my laptop, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on my camera. So that's all of those. So we can get out of there. Let's go into our control software, our media. And I put all of those in a folder for this video called Lower Thirds. There they are. Oops, these are the ones I made in my test. Ha ha. Ignore those. So we're going to do one, two, three. So now we have all our lower thirds in. And if we wanted to, there we go, comes in, goes out, good to go. Also note, I'm technically using an upstream key and a downstream key at the same time right now. So, so that's how you get them in. Now let's go over downstream key. Uh, basically, I've got my media player and my media player is my key. And that's, that's all I need to do. The upstream key is the pip in the corner. That's me. And I can use the front of the Mini Pro to turn that on and off. So let's leave that on. So all I've, all I've used the software for thus far is to bring it, bring those files into the media pool. That's it. That's all I've needed to use them for. Now we're going to go into companion. I haven't done anything with the companion in the last couple of videos. I very much like companion. I'll put a link in the, into the description as to where you can download it. You need a stream deck. Yeah, you don't need a stream deck. You can use it. You, with companion, you can uh, get the buttons different ways, but it's best if you have a stream deck. Um, and let's go on. So instances, I already have my black magic connected buttons. So let's make this as if we were doing a show. So I want to do camera one, GoPro. I don't have the Sony with, with me anymore and then laptop. And this is the 2.0 beta, 2.0 beta. That's also, it's made for the XL or the regular, excuse me, regular stream deck. And that's why you have this gray outline. If I put buttons over here, it'd get really confusing. So button type. Make it a regular button, call it cut. And then I'm just gonna scroll down to ATEM, cut operation. That's all I'm gonna do for right now. So now I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna call it Josh, lower third. So a couple things I wanna have, I'm gonna do multiple things on this one button. The first thing I wanna do is I want to assign what's in media player one. So let me find that. Reading is hard when there are lights in your eyes. Yep, reading is hard when there's lights in your eyes. Probably gonna cut this down. Auto fade, change, change input, uh, run macro. Oh, hey, it's the very bottom one. So, yep, so I'm gonna take that in and what were the three things? I did this earlier. Okay, so that, so I only need to do two things. I need to select it and then take it. So, but that reminds me, I want to do another operation in here, which is going to be set downstream key to off. That way, every time I hit the cut button, it's going to turn that off. So 
Again, I like copy paste, so we're gonna copy and paste, copy and paste. We're gonna rename this to George, and then we're gonna select the still for George. We're gonna change this for Neil, and we're going to select this for Neil. So now, let's say we just took this full screen, and I am doing this with two different things, so. I need to stop doing that. So basically what I'm going to do now is, all right, so we got everything set up here and I just realized that part of that's in the way. Sorry. Let me, I put the window over here so that on the main program it wouldn't block settings, but don't need that, I guess. So let me pull this back over here and this guy over here. Again, if I press the button, my the size is gonna, gonna get reset and I don't want that. So, okay, so we're set up here. Let's call this our close-up shot. So, and I'm talking, you wanna show that lower third, so you launch it, then you wanna go back to your mid shot or your wide shot. So, that's our wide shot. It clears out the lower third. The next pickup, it clears our lower third. The next person we're going to cut to that and then launch it. And then when we come back, we want it to clear. And the same thing on the third, we'll, we'll establish a shot for the third person. Take it, launch that, let them talk, let that stay up for a little while so everyone knows who they are, and then cut back to our wide shot. This is assuming a panel. Uh, if you're doing a house of worship, it could be your pastor. Uh, you can make a lower third for your Bible verse um, or anything like that. So that's been this one. I hope that all makes sense. I wonder if there's a way to, to make that transition in. You know what? Let's, let's not go away just yet. Let's see. That's what I want to do. So let's get rid of that one. Okay. There it is. So we're going to do, instead of just launching it, we're going to do auto DSK. And then we can still, when we go back to other shot, it's still going to clear out. We're going to come back. So now let's go back to our main camera. And then we're going to launch our lower third. And then we're going to go to GoPro and go back to our lower, go back to our main camera, launch another lower third. And you see how they, they trans transition in and out nice and neat. Go back, do Neil Gaiman. So if you wanted to add, let's add another button. Let's call it clear DSK. Um, let me do this so you can see it. Oh, there we go. Well, the lower third's up. We'll fix that in one second. So we want to clear the, clear the downstream. So that same button, that auto DSK, that's going to be this button. So I want to press it and it fades out. So if you wanted it to, let's say, Let's say we're here and we, instead of keeping this as, as a wide shot, we just transition, you know, pan and zoom. And this is on for a while. And this person is just answering a question, talking, 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 talking. We, but we want to clear this out. I can just press clear DSK. And actually, apparently, I can just press the first button again. So there's that. Hopefully that was real quick and really easy. And again, you can do this on pretty much any of the ATEMs, um, starting with the Mini, going all the way up to an ME2 or an ME4, ME500. I don't know how, many, how big the ME's get. So, As always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button. Um, if you want to look at some of the other videos that I've made, go ahead and hit the subscribe video and turn on that bell so you can see whenever I push content out. Thanks. This is probably why I shouldn't drink before I make videos. <laughs>